Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today we're out here in the uh, light drizzle and cold uh, to tinker around with the old Mercedes. Uh, we're going to throw together a simple water meth kit out of parts and pieces that I had laying around in the shop. So uh, let's get going. I had a few spare parts from other projects laying around. I've got a Devil's Own one gallon per minute high pressure pump. I've got their nozzle and quick release, which this is a 10, I think, liter per minute nozzle. I'm gonna swap this out for a three that I've also got laying in the shop. And I've got some extra tubing, which is up here. And I've got a check valve somewhere. So, basically, I'm going to drill the side of this tank here run this tubing down into the bottom and just make it simple uh, i'm not looking for performance mainly this is to help us along on our adventure in alternative fuel on this car uh, right now it does not have two fuel tanks in it which is typically what i like to do but uh we're gonna give this a shot and see how it does right now i run it on about a 50 50 blend of our mix so uh and it, it can get a little hazy after a while. So we're gonna throw water at it and see if that cleans it up, which I've had good luck with that in the past and I think it'll do the trick here. So we'll see. So we're gonna do this a down and dirty way. This tank here still holds washer fluid, and, but the pump is bad and none of that system works on this car anyways. So I've drilled a small hole on this side I'm going to fish this tubing down in through to the bottom corner over here. Now, I'm going to use a little trick that I've learned. I'm going to cut a little crown in this tubing so it can't suck against the wall or the floor of the tank. That way it'll always be able to pull fluid up. And there we go. As you can see, I've cut a few triangle shaped notches out of the end of the tubing. And now, no matter what, it can always suck fluid through the sides of the tube. So I'm gonna fish this down through this hole over here, fish it down into this bottom corner and uh, go on and route it to where my pump's gonna be located. Okay, we've got our tubing routed through here, through the side of the tank. And if you can see down in there, down in that bottom corner, which is submerged. should work pretty well. I'm gonna run this tubing down along this cable here, down to where I'm gonna mount the pump right here. Here's a little test fire of a 10 liter per hour or liter per minute nozzle. I'm not quite sure what it's rated at. It's been a long time since I got it, but uh, yeah. Yeah, that might be a bit excessive, but uh, we'll see what happens. Since we're not doing this the right way at all, I believe all I'm going to do is drill a small hole in this uh, intake tube right here, plop this nozzle down, secure it, seal it up a little bit, and uh, call it good. That's going to spray the water methanol mix pre-turbo, which will cool the air charge and hopefully get the cleaning effect we're after. Well, there we go. I drilled a small hole in the elbow and put a little uh, RTV on the nozzle. Just threaded it into the plastic and it is secure. It's not going anywhere. So, that should work. All I have to do is uh, get rid of this little test wire here and run a switch for it. I'll probably use just a push button because, uh, yeah, I'm not looking to use this for power. I'm just gonna use it to help keep the combustion chambers and stuff clean. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it works in the long run. Got a little uh, momentary switch I picked up off Amazon. 
I'm going to be using this for the water meth injection setup. I've already got this switch wired in. Now all that's left is to uh, wire up the relay to trigger it and see how it runs. Okay, we're all warmed up and we're going to see how it likes it. Doesn't seem to hate it. No stumbles, no misfires, nothing weird going on. I got a four gallon per hour nozzle in it right now and uh, no methanol, so it's not pulling real hard, but it's got a uh, getting mostly water. But uh, yeah, excuse the horn. Kind of hard to do this uh, one handed, but yeah, we'll uh, take it for a little spirited drive right quick and see how it does. After a good run, spraying it down at uh, four gallons per hour, I don't see any haze that's visible anymore. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, I guess only time will tell, but uh, I'll play with it a bit more here soon. Well, after a little bit of testing with the uh, basically straight distilled water injection, four gallon per hour nozzle, Seems to, uh, I like it a little bit. So uh, I'll put a little winter blend uh, windshield washer fluid in it and see how the methanol uh, picks it up. But wasn't really doing it for power, was doing it more for cleaning. And so far it looks like it's going to do its job. So I'll play with it off and on here for the next few weeks and see if I notice a big difference in haze and stuff like that. I'll keep running a 50-50 blend in the tank and uh, Go from there. Let you guys know if it really works or if it doesn't. So, anyways, I think I'm going to wrap this up there. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.